Okay, good, it's on. Um, hi, my name's Haley. Uh, you're watching this at Yoriyama. <laughs> Today is day number one of me trying to lose weight. And I have exercised a bit. I did my little bikey thing for a little bit today. I walked around my apartment. And I've taken 6,332 steps. Dyslexic, sorry. Um, mind you, I wasn't wearing that thing the entire time, which is funny uh, because I'd like fall asleep, hear something, and boom, or go to the bathroom and forget to have it on because sitting here with it on is a little uncomfortable. Props to the people that wear it all the time. <coughs> so, I got some food from the food bank today. I got some baby arugula, I got some breads that are very nice, I got some chicken, like chicken sausage and the Cajun chicken leg. Um, I got uh, lots of cans, lots of cans of food. Um, so those things are going to help me because that's more stuff I don't have to buy to eat so that my budget can be better because let's face it one good foods expensive two I'm poverty level with my money because uh, I'm like broke up I mean come on I went to the food bank so yes I'm in the poverty so yeah Okay, so I also danced today. I danced while cooking. I danced while waiting for the bus to take me to the food bank. Which, I was doing that because I wanted to have fun and because I was bored. That wasn't for... Okay, so it does help me when I exercise and I actually dance more when I'm trying to lose weight than when I'm... Maybe other time. Mind you, I'm still technically depressed, so the fact that I'm able to dance is actually a pretty good sign that I'm not too depressed. So that's pretty good. Um, but the guys in that one car were total jerks. Yes, I get the fact that I might have been a distraction, but at the same time... How is that too distracting? If you're watching somebody do this... Mind you, I dance like I'm having a freaking seizure. So if they are calling me a fucking retard, that's what they called me. And I was, and if I had a seizure instead of dancing, because let's face it, I dance like I'm having a seizure. <laughs> uh, that makes them bigger assholes. But people could tell that I was dancing for fun. Well, most of them. Not those assholes that kept honking and cursing at me. And Seriously? I mean, seriously. It's no different from you dancing in your car. Which people do quite often. I see them doing it. It's not any more dangerous than the fact that you text and drive. Because I see people with cell phones on their cell phones driving all the time. Actually, the scary part is those people are nicer to the pedestrians. At least the ones I run into. Well, the ones around my area. Because uh, the ones not talking on the phone or looking at their phone a little bit, they just drive right through. The ones that are, they're like, oh, give me a minute, I want to talk. Oh, there's a person. There's an excuse. There's an excuse for me being stopped. Cross the road. <laughs> so, yeah. I like those people because... There's some that actually are quite decent where they're like, Oh, I need an excuse. Cross the road. Cross the road. Excuse. Please. Give me an excuse. <laughs> I like that. Um, I admit there are some a-holes that actually uh, do that kind of thing. But So, yeah, those guys are jerks. Especially if they're using the word retard. That means... One, they're in the past with thinking. Two, they're stupid. And three, they are looking down on people with mental health problems. Which makes me want to castrate them. 
So I just smiled and waved to them because whatever. I did get hoots. I did get hollers, which it's like seriously, people. I'm doing this for myself. I'm not doing this to be sexy, mama. No, I'm dancing for fun. So if you hoot and holler and go, ooh, baby, makes me want to throw a brick at your car. Because you're being an ass. If you call me a fucking retard, you're being an ass. Makes me feel bad about myself. Makes me not feel good. Makes me feel objectified and very self-conscious. Mind you, again, this is for that. For that. That people have done that. I've gotten recorded and people smile and laugh and I prefer the people smiling and laughing. I, I, I'm hoping that those people are more along the lines of uh, thinking, hey, she's enjoying her music. I know that feeling. That's great. Or she looks so, totally ridiculous. This is funny as hell. This brightened up my day. Because I'm okay with that. If you're having a bad day and you see me looking like a moron, and you feel better because of that? I'm okay with that. But to be a douche, yeah, no. Don't give me cock calls. Don't try and catch my attention when you're supposed to be driving. Mind you, it's mostly passengers that do that. That try and catch my attention. So people do know the rules of the road. Um. But yeah, I, I was doing some dancing today. That was pretty fun. Um, I ran into a couple of hot guys and some hot girls. And the guys decided to compliment me back today. Uh, one would not leave me alone for a half hour. He, he, he's just like full on flirt mode. He even asked me if I was a virgin, hinted that wanted to date me, and it's like, okay, I just said that you're handsome. Just because I said you're handsome does not mean you should try and pick me up. I like to flirt. I actually said that to him. I actually told the guy, flirting's fun. I just like flirting. I don't want a relationship. Because, let's see, flirting is fun. Lots of fun. I like flirting. So, yeah. Um, so that was kind of interesting, um, and the other thing is I saw some more cute guys near m my place and I s actually said, what is this, handsome man day? And they replied, what is this, beautiful woman day? So we were both complimenting each other. Because I told them, I've seen so many handsome men today that there's two more on my roster and I like it. Because, <laughs> let's face it. Even though I'm not feeling attractive, the fact that I was called beautiful today made me feel a little bit better about myself. Despite the fact that I think I'm fat and not very pretty. I did like it. I didn't really accept it too much, but I, I liked it. Very flattering. Um, even more so from guys that... I think are attractive. Mind you, I don't want to date. I would like to compliment them on the fact that they are hot. I would like to tell them how wonderful they are. But I'm not going to date. I kind of like I do that to the woman too. Yes, I am bi technically. But I'm also not looking for a relationship. Not looking to date. And not romantic at all. Sorry. So. That, that makes things awkward. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so I did some errands today. I actually got Darkrai cards for my Pokemon game. When I ran off to GameStop, which was totally awesome. I got three Darkrai cards. Which is awesome! Um, yeah, so th th that's good. Uh, and um, my bathroom had been... Uh, I think it's called Frosted. See, the towels in my bathroom 
have this kind of glazy kind of white thing on it that cover up the tiles to make them all white again instead of the fact that they are bright pink and it's like okay those are peeling and uh, they uh, frost them back over so they actually look a lot better now and that repair guy was cute and yeah so again not looking for a relationship but I'm appreciating the view Damn. So I still need to do my uh, sit-ups and stuff like that. But the fact that I did a lot of dancing and all that stuff was pretty good. I'm actually working to walk up to 10,000 steps and I still have to get my bathroom straight. Because right now my bathroom is just toilet paper in there with uh, some hand soap. I have to find everything again. It's not going to be fun. So I have to hang up the shower curtain and all that stuff. That's going to be exercise because it's like, oh, I got to put everything back to place. I got to wipe everything down. Shut up, phone. What the hell? I don't want to know about some crazy girl with a gun. That, that's really weird. I didn't want my phone to update me about some crazy person with a gun. <laughs> yeah, so. I'm not sure how I feel today about what I ate. Uh, what I ate today was a salad in the morning. It was like wee hours in the morning because I do keep strange hours. So I ate, did a little exercise. It was a salad with uh, different types of leaves. I have no idea what types. Uh, then there was uh, the tomato, the uh, avocado, cucumber, oh, and pieces of chicken. Chicken's good. So that's going good. I've actually made a big thing of salad, so I can eat that. I had a nectarine. My nectarines seem to be a little too ripe because it was kind of like apple saucy. I don't like them too mushy. I kind of like them with a, like you get a nice little bite of it and just kind of, maybe I prefer plums. I'm not really sure. But you know that nice texture, not too soft, not too hard, not too sweet, not too mush. Yeah. Those are the ones I prefer. Which, considering what I've been dealing with with fresh food, the fresh food goes bad in like less than 24. Or not even. It would be like, okay, I bought this on Friday. It's Monday. It's bad. It's spoiled. It's decomposing, which I actually have a whole bag of trash. I just cleaned up my fridge as well. And there, I could not believe what... I had some fresh food in there and it went, it's like, okay, that's disgusting. So I got that out of there. And that's what's going to make this hard, is that the good stuff is expensive and goes bad in like a day. So I might have to adopt the Japanese style things and just basically go to the store every day. Just go for the walk every day and pick up what you're going to eat. Because that's what they do. But then again, the, that's the ones in the metropolitan area that you read in the mangas and see on the uh, anime. For lunch, I had a uh, double patty cheese burger. Double patty burger? Not cheese. No, I had no cheese. Now I have cheese because I got some of the food bank. Um... And that's because my patty stuck together and just broke apart and who likes reheating burgers? So yeah, I got some interesting things and uh, I'm going to do some fun stuff. So I'm basically going to try and do my best to lose weight. Oh, and I uh, got my costume today for uh, Comic Con. And you might go, but you said earlier in this video that your poverty level. Dude, 
I grow pond. I got the tickets for Comic Con for like 20 bucks. 20 bucks. And the costume I got, I used swag bucks. So I got that sucker for free. So, screw you if you're gonna pop my bowls. Besides that, I'm gonna have to have fun. I need to get out of this rut of depressive struck and. I mean, come on. I ate a salad, tried to do some exercise, fell asleep. Woke up, did stuff that I had to do around the house, fell asleep again. Woke up, went to um, food bank, came back, and that's now. So, yes, I'm probably going to fall asleep again because I get tired and bored, and especially if it's loud. I really, really hate loud, so when it, things get loud, I fall asleep because I don't want to deal with them. I don't like loud. So right now it's like 9 o'clock. So that's a bit late. So hopefully I'm going to be doing the quieter exercises. Which are basically my sit-ups and uh, trying to do those arm thingies and stuff like that. I don't know what I can do. Because again, I live on a floor above somebody else and I don't want to sound like raging elephants. Because we all know that I get hyper at night. So I'm going to try and lose the weight. I'm really trying and I really do feel conflicted today. Because I did good. And at the same time I did bad. And, and I got to work on losing weight. And why the hell did they give me pound cake? Do you want pound cake? Because I got pound cake from the food bank. And it's like, that's not diet food. Give me a fruit tart. I want a fruit tart. Okay, I will catch you guys later and hopefully you like today.